it's at that time of year again, when wounded service members come to represent their respective branches at the Warrior Games in Colorado Springs. The athletes compete in wheelchair basketball, seated volleyball, swimming, cycling, shooting, archery, and track and field. And through it all, there can only be one ultimate champion. It's a pentathlon, so uh, it's got a 100 meter dash on the track, foot race, a 50 meter swim, a 30K bike race, shot put, and indoor 10 meter air rifle. And the way you score points is, is um, placing in the top five of your disability category. Just two service members from each branch compete for the title. Sergeant Kogan Nelson and Captain Jonathan Disbro are representing the Marine Corps this year. Kogan suffered traumatic brain injury from an improvised explosive device, and Disbro had his lower leg amputated after mortar shrapnel went through his foot. Both incidents happened in Iraq, but both Marines are here to compete. I got a strong sense it's going to be either one of us because. I mean, judging by what we've seen from the other teams, we're preparing much, much more thoroughly than they are. Unless they're doing something behind the scenes. But, you know, we come out to the track every day or, you know, every other day and we're on the bikes and we're swimming a lot and working on the rifle. I just haven't seen any other teams putting that much effort into it. You know, you'd think they'd learn. That's not arrogance speaking, it's experience. You see, Captain Disbro knows what it takes. Here in the title of ultimate champion at last year's games. You gotta be fairly good at all of them. You don't have to be an expert, but you can't be just still one sided on one event. You gotta be pretty well rounded. You know, my favorite is, uh, is cycling, just because when I'm out riding my bike, it's just been, uh, it's where I can find peace with myself. I just like to listen to the tires on the road and, you know, it's just go. And, I get to think to myself and I just, you know, you get to pay attention to your pedal strokes and it's just time to yourself. Well, you know what, this year what I've really been wanting to work on a lot was swimming. So last year I didn't do too well in swimming. I don't even think I made the finals last year. So I'm looking forward to see if I can improve my performance in the swim. Maybe squeak, maybe squeak in a couple points there. Kogan and Disbro remain virtually side by side through the training leading up to the games. It's a relationship not often seen between a sergeant and a captain. Because we're not doing a typical Marine mission here, we're teammates. So, yeah, you know, Marines are team, team oriented as well, but I'm not ordering Kogan to do anything here. We're teammates here, so that's not my reason for being here. I, I don't really look at him as a competitor, you know. If he wins, you know, I'm just as happy as if I win, you know, like I'm, I'm there to push him and he's there to push me. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses, so, you know, if I'm having a day where I'm tired, he might push me along or vice versa. So that's good. If he sees anything that will help anybody out, he'll tell you. I mean, he doesn't care if it will help you win on game day and it'll beat him. It doesn't matter, you know, it's just, it's a mentality all the Marines have. It doesn't. As long as the Marine wins at the end of the day, that's all that matters to us. You know, the Marines, we just kind of prepare as best as, as best as we can to succeed, and it usually pays off. So I got a feeling that a Marine is going to win this year. I'm just out here to have fun, but at the end of the day, if I win it, it would be awesome, you know? It would be a good sense of accomplishment, you know, because I've trained really hard. At the end of the day, I just want to see... Uh, all my Marines uh, happy and helping them the best that I can. While injuries took them from the battlefield, Kogan and Disbro's mentality of mission first remains intact. So does camaraderie, as two individuals compete as a team for the one title of ultimate champion. From the Warrior Games in Colorado Springs, I'm Sergeant Todd Hunter.